Okay, so we're going to test this out here. Hopefully, this is working right. And, um, okay, I got that there. That there. And I got that there. And I got that there. And um, if I do another track here, yeah, insert a new track. And uh, that one's going to go from um, mono input, 1 LLR. And uh, monitor that one. Insert new track 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 Insert new track 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 Insert new track 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 Insert new track 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 Insert new track 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 Insert track Now I do the IO over here and I do the IO here I tell my track to have three channels no more than three I want to have four channels. I want to have four channels. Now I'm going to add a new receive. The new receive is going to be for my track one and two. Here is track one. Audio one, two. O2 audio one, two. Now I add a new, new receive. This receive, it comes from track two. Track two's receive. It is special. It, instead of going to one and two, remember how earlier we created four inputs. This one goes to three and four. Okay, not quite, because we need to do pre-FX on both these tracks. Okay. Now you notice how I turn these two down. I can keep this one normal. Now we go to effects here. And uh, we're going to throw a vocoder on it. We vocode. Yes. Now you can't quite hear anything because there's nothing modulating the vocoder signal. So I'm going to turn this back down. I'm going to hit my keyboard.
Thank <laughs> you.